You're watching the Intel Network and Edge vSummit series with our focus today on the network at the edge. Edge computing processes data locally at the point of impact where it can generate maximum return for industries. From storefronts to cell towers to factory floors, every edge has its unique requirements and challenges. So how is Intel laying the foundation for service innovation at the edge? Joining me now are Renu Navale, VP Data Platforms Group and GM Edge Computing and Ecosystem Enabling at Intel, and Caroline Chan, VP and GM 5G Infrastructure Division, Network Platform Group at Intel. Hello, both of you. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Hey, hey, how Thank are you? you? Renu, I'd like to ask you first about um, the many challenges and opportunities that are associated with the edge is turning into a unique proposition. Explain to us what exactly we're dealing with when it comes to enabling the edge. Uh, thank you. Um, so edge, as you just described, is multi-location. It's everywhere from storefronts and factory floors to cell towers and central offices. Um, and each edge location has its own set of unique requirements, unique constraints. Uh, and at each location, the types of services that are innovated and deployed needs to deliver business value to the end customer or to the end enterprise. So the entire industry is working on, you know, what are the variety of use cases that can be deployed across these different locations and what is the most optimal placement of these use cases or services at the point of highest value of return to the end customers. And there's multiple ways for us to do this in terms of uh, not only the infrastructure of the edge platforms at these different locations, but also the, 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 the software that is enabled on top of these platforms, as well as a variety of use cases, services and applications that again deliver value to the end customer. Given that this is not a one size fits all solution, what is Intel's approach and what are some of Intel's strategic initiatives that address the associated challenges here? So, so Intel is approaching edge computing largely across both the on-premise edge as well as the network edge. And each one has a unique approach that we need to take um, where we need to account for not only think drivers like latency, low latency, but also bandwidth, security, and connectivity. Now across both the on-premise as well as the network edge, what we're seeing is it starts to become a convergence of IT, OT, and CT workloads. In addition to this convergence, what we're seeing is that almost every use case is a consolidation of analytics workloads, media workloads, and a variety of networking workloads, which could be you know, wireless, wired, or even Wi-Fi. So Intel is approaching this workload convergence or consolidation in the form of a three-pronged strategy. Now, its three-pronged strategy is across a very diverse product portfolio. And this product portfolio extends from not only our CPU, from our high-performance Xeon processors to our lower power, lower cost Atom processors, but also a variety of accelerators and adjacencies that allow for processing different types of workloads in a very optimized fashion at the edge. In addition, Intel is investing in a variety of uh, edge software, which is based on open source and open standards. And this software is in the form of developer toolkits that is delivered to not only our customers and ecosystem, but it's also being used to enable a variety of developers at the edge. Now, these toolkits are being used for a variety of workloads like OpenVINO for deep learning, inferencing, and analytics at the edge, OpenNest, which is Open Network Edge Services Software, which is about 5G and network transformation and MEC software at the edge, um, Open Visual Cloud, which is for optimizing a variety of media workloads at the edge, um, as well as a variety of vertical specific software like Edge Insight software for industrial or retail. 
Now the ecosystem is a major factor in the customer journey to the edge. So how is Intel going above and beyond to enable partner solutions and also create an ecosystem that is ready today? That's a great question. So Intel is working not only with the telco ecosystem for the network edge, um, it's also working with the IoT and enterprise ecosystem for the on-premise edge. So each of these uh, edge locations and use cases um, requires multiple types of partners. It requires you know, our operating system vendors, system integrators, our uh, software vendors, hardware vendors, in addition, we're also partnering with a variety of ecosystem that's very vertical specific for our, for example, our industrial ecosystem, our retail ecosystem, our smart city, our healthcare ecosystem. Now, in order to make our solutions be more scalable for each of these uh, use cases across this ecosystem, we are taking advantage of a number of our strategic initiatives, such as the Intel Market Ready Solutions, the Intel RR our case, Intel Select Solutions, it has ecosystem programs like the IoT Solutions Alliance, um, as well as the Intel Network Builders. And more specifically, it has some specialized um, reference architectures, which are called the Converged Edge Reference Architectures, which actually work towards converging multiple technology assets, such as OpenVINO for analytics, OpenNAS for networking and 5G, um, open Visual Cloud for media workloads, um, as well as edge inside software for industrial and retail. So it works across integrating all of these different workloads in order to accelerate time to deployment for our customers and partners, as well as accelerating the type and value of business outcome that can be delivered to our customers and partners. Thank you. And Caroline, let me come to you now. Um, what insights can you share with us on some of the leading use cases that Intel is invested in and is also enabling at the edge? Yeah, like uh, Renu was talk, mentioning before, we we put out a lot of the uh, uh, the foundational uh, uh, reference stack, hardware platform, and software platform to enable many use cases, which tend to be uh, triggered by the highest ROI. So we started by working on uh, industrial uh, retail. What we have seen is because of changes in the, uh, the societies around us, we have to be agile, we have to be adaptive. So do our customers and they will demand a different set of uh, use cases. Recently, we've noticed a lot of smart education, smart city to be able to monitor people, make sure the social distancing is happening. Uh, thermal scanning, uh, looking looking for any kind of hot spots. We notice uh, telehealth has a, a tremendously uptick in their demand. So our role as uh, the foundational technology partner like Intel is to enable our ecosystem, enable our customers to, to answer this kind of a cause, to, to be able to adapt our solution for what the, what's the uh, society wants and needs. So. We, we are seeing changes, but we are ready for these kind of changes. We, are, we want to be dynamic to, to adapt to the to difference in requirements. And what are some of the key Intel technologies and initiatives that are critical in enabling these use cases? And how are these helping position Intel and its partners for 5G ready infrastructure? It really goes back to the basics, right? Renu talked quite a bit about what are the software that we put out to enable ecosystem. The foundation is connectivity. The foundation is all of the LTE and 5G brings. And don't forget that 5G really has a different bent on what the connectivity does now. It's not just for the smartphone. It's for all the devices out there. It's for critical communication, the, the low latency, ultra reliability ones. So we just recently put out our uh, 5G reference stack that's released 16 that has the URLC and has a TSN element in there too. We'll continue to put out this kind of reference software for our ecosystem to, to be ready for a fully connected environment where when you have the compute, you will be able to manage all the new use cases that's coming uh, our way, whether planned or unplanned. The bottom line is 
Intel is equipping, helping to enable our customers and their customers to, to ready for any changes that comes in this very uncertain times. Great. Renu, you and Caroline have set the scene very nicely, but what can viewers expect from this year's V Summit on the Network at the Edge? So we have um, a variety of topics that we've lined up for the for the Network and Edge V Summit, uh, specifically focused on edge computing. Uh, we have an exceptional set of um, speakers um, that span not only from Intel, but also from our customers as well as our partners. Uh, and I think we're gonna be touching on a variety of um, not only technology topics, but also use case topics where we, we talk to our customers about how they're consuming our technologies to enable certain use cases that again, drive business value to them. Looking forward to it. But for now, Renu and Caroline, thank you both very much indeed for joining us. And don't forget, you can watch more interviews and discussions on Edge Networking right here as part of the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.